What sets the Tick universe apart from the DC and Marvel universe? I think probably the, the most distinguishing thing is is the combination of reverence for for superheroes and, and fans of superheroes. I think everybody involved is a fan of comics and superheroes, but also a healthy uh, sense of humor about the whole thing and about ourselves and, and the universe. Um, I think there's also a kind of a, a humanness and a sweetness that, that's at the core of it uh, in the character of the Tick and in Arthur and their relationship that that sort of sets it apart a little bit from some of the other uh, mega superheroes. This author is so different than the last one. Was that on purpose, or what was the thought behind that? Um, you know, I don't know entirely, but I have to assume that it was intentional because uh, you know Ben has been so very involved in this, uh, and and you know, as as the creator of the of the whole thing, I think this is who he wants Arthur to be. And I think also when you find somebody as remarkable as Griffin, you, you sort of, you realize you found a real gem there and so you kind of work to, to set him in the best possible way. Um, so I'm, I'm sure it's intentional um, and, and I think it's great. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Wow, I've always wanted to fly. I think that has always been, certainly, you know, when you look at traffic patterns these days, flying would be really great. Um, but that's always been my, when I was a kid and reading comic books, you know, I was always a big fan of the Angel and the X-Men and, you know, the characters that, and, and I think I wanted to be a character, not just that could fly, but that had wings. Like, I thought, I thought the wings and the fact that they somehow managed to fold up under your t-shirt was pretty awesome. Yeah.